Hello and welcome to this session in which we will work a CPA simulation or an exercise that illustrate the concept of research and development expense. It's very important for an accounting student or a CPA or CMA candidate to know how to treat, how to handle research and development cost. In other words, well, we're saying here research and development expense. Is it an expense or is it an asset when we incur those costs? Generally speaking, research, when you're trying to discover new things, new processes, new technology, new medication, something new, guess what? The outcome is uncertain. You don't know whether you are going to achieve your objective or not. Since the outcome associated with the research and development cost is uncertain, what are we going to do? We are going to expense research and development because the, the definition of an asset is something that's going to provide future benefit. Research and development, we would like for it to provide future benefit. We would like it, but we, there's uncertainty. Similar to the concept of advertisement. When you pay for advertisement, when you pay for advertisement, we expense advertisement. Why? Because we don't know the outcome, the benefit of the advertisement. That's the purpose of it. So let's take a look a little bit more about this concept. The expense of procured equipment that will be utilized for R&D venture this year and other non-related projects in future years. The equipment will be depreciated using the straight line method over five years, and we paid 250000 So we purchase an equipment. It's going to be used in, the, in an R&D project this year, and this equipment will be used for other non-related projects, in other words, non-research projects in future years. The life of this asset is two fifty. What do we do? Well, we have to be careful here. Generally speaking, if we buy a piece of equipment, an asset, and it's used in the R&D project, we expense it as R&D cost. However, this asset here, what we are told, it's going to be used in R&D project this year, and in future years, it's going to be used. It's going to be used in non-related project. So this asset will have an alternative use. Alternative means it's not solely. It's not only for the project itself. Well. 250,000 divided by 5 equal to 50,000. So we are going to do research and development $50,000. We are going to expense research and development of $50,000. So this is the expense for research and development. Only 50,000. If this was not used for non-related projects, so it's, if we purchase this asset and it's only for the project, it would have been the whole thing would have been expensed. Material used in R&D project, 30,000. What do we do with this material? Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. It's for the R&D project, it's expensed. Compensation paid the third-party consultant, 40,000, that are involved in R&D project. Those are third-party. What do we do? Nevertheless, third party or actually insiders, if they are working on R&D project, we will expense their cost as R&D. Expense associated with salaries, those are insiders of individual engaged in R&D. Same thing, we're going to treat them as R&D expense. Indirect expenses that can be reasonably assigned and or attributed to R&D project. Well, those are expenses and we are assigned them in a reasonable way. That's fine. We are going to expense them as R&D. Material purchased for upcoming R&D project, 50000 Well, the material, let's assume chemicals or whatever we are buying, capsules uh, for the medication, it's an R&D project. But we have not used them yet. We have not consumed them yet. We have not utilized them yet. So what do we do under those circumstances? Under those circumstances, since we have not purchased them yet, so those are still assets. Means what? It's inventory, some sort of an inventory, supplies, 
or supplies, but they are not used. They are not expensed yet. Therefore, we don't expense them in R&D because there's a good possibility the whole project might be canceled. So you're not going to expense them or there's a possibility that you might, you don't like these material, you would return them. Well, you don't want to expense them yet. Therefore, the total R&D expense based on these computation, if you are giving a simulation, 50 plus 30 is 80, 120, 180, 200,000. So the R&D cost is 200,000. You have to be careful. Again, the equipment, only 50,000 will be expensed as R&D. What should you do now? Go to Far Hat Lectures and look at additional MCQs, true false, additional exercises that's going to help you with this important concept of research and development expense, how to account for research and development expense. Good luck, study hard, invest in yourself.